So our main idea is to create something like that. You see, I just searched on Google to, uh, to find some um, environment. Uh, that's, for example, is the Antelope Canyon, and that's really nice. Then we have this image. Uh, you see the, the cave is really a really nice looking environment. So we'll try to simulate something like that. Maybe with a little bit of water and some lighting coming inside, maybe something like this one. So uh, we'll try to model everything using procedures. So our environment will be uh, really, uh, really simple because it will be done using a simple model and then all the detail will be done using the um, the uh, uh, environments with maps and displacement and that's all. So uh, the first idea is to have, let's create a plane to have a measure of the environment and to have the measure we have to go in the unit setup. Let's work in, uh, let's work in me centimeters for the moment. So uh, we have, for example, this one is, well, let's try with 20 meters. And let's go for 20 meters also there. Okay, so this uh, this area is 20 meters for 20 meters, and I like to have uh, a, a, an open there, uh, a door, something to have the lighting coming inside, and then we have all the environment done using uh, uh, just the. Uh, uh, the closure there, so everything is uh, closed and we have just an environment uh, opening there on uh, one side. So uh, we can mm, we can use different way to model this environment. Uh, one idea is to create uh, basically uh, just one mesh and then sculpt inside the mesh or we can uh, create something by uh, by hand but uh, our main idea is to create, let's go for example, to have something like um, a cylinder or maybe a capsule. So let's go to the extended primitives and we go for a capsule and it will be really big, it will be longer. So let's imagine that uh, our area is this one. We need to change the shape, obviously, because we need to have an opening at the end and we need to have the, uh, the area on the lower side uh, flat. So let's start to tune this shape, having more segments there. Maybe it can be a little bit longer and then we can scale this area on this part. So um, let's start working with maybe um, an FFD and we get to change the shape. So you see I'm moving the vertices to have a different shape on the ground, so you see now it is coming to be uh, flat. It is more flat than possible. And then we can move the other vertices by hand. So if this is, is the, uh, the basic shape, then we can have an edit poly. And we can, for example, let's say that this one is the base on the back. So let's go to have a soft selection. It will be obviously bigger because I like to move those vertices. Then we can go down and you see that we have this area uh, as more flat. And if we go to have a bigger selection there, we can also uh, scale it a little bit. So there it will be more uh, like you see a closed environment okay uh, then in the front let's remove the soft selection I like to remove 
this part so in the front it is open so then we can peek this area with the soft selection and maybe oh, just this area and we can start to scale a little bit and we move a little bit of vertices so you see actually there is uh, a bigger hard there and then we have a lower chamber uh, in front of us okay so let's remove this plane there for the moment let's call this one cave so actually it's uh, really uh, really rough and simple uh, but we can start to have a turbo smooth maybe with two and you see that we are starting to have something more uh, defined but I like to start uh, creating a, a little bit of distortion so let's go with an edit poly and then we have the possibility to go with a freeform and let's open the freeform and now we start to sculpt a little bit this environment so we try to make it uh, not so regular and the same will be done on the other axis uh, obviously now it is just a little bit to uh, create some distortion over the area to make it uh, not so precise because it is really not so realistic to have something so precise so let's get to create something okay so this uh, it's just a rough idea about what we can do so now I like to go inside and let's imagine that we have a camera let's go for something like that let's go there and let's press C key oh, sorry there C key and there this one is the front and let's go to say that we have an HD uh, image aspect so there we can say to use the show save frame so you can use the shift uh, C over the uh, the keyboard uh, I like to still tune a little bit the shape so we'll try to create a curve okay you see that we have a curvy look for let's rotate a little bit so we have just a little bit of lighting coming inside from this opening and then again let's use the shift but uh, we have to to scale a little bit let's say 10 for the full strength and 100 for the fall off so you see that there we have a bigger uh, a lower sides and you see that uh, now we have the possibility to sculpt directly there inside the viewport okay now i like to create something over uh, this mesh to create more detail so again uh, first of all let's save so you know the first thing we need is to add more detail so we can go for a new turbo smooth then we need another edit poly to have again the uh, possibility to work with a free form so now i like to start sculpting some more detail so uh, let's go to have some push uh, it is really little let's go for 200 okay it is 
we have to add more strength let's go maybe for 50 okay let's recheck there let's add the normal to invert uh, the normal so we can work inside push and pull and you see that now we can sculpt a little bit of the tail okay this part is higher and then let's go to create something there okay you see that uh, i'm trying to create some really big irregularity inside this environment and then there too i like to have uh, this wall really bigger okay uh, now we are just creating a, a rough idea about how our environment obviously uh, you know but it is enough to to have the idea about what we are uh, doing inside our environment so you see I'm just creating some um, uh, that's too much let's go there to have maybe 20 that is really too much let's go for five Let's go to do it step by step. Okay. Again with 50. And let's change also there the shape. Oh, I'm sorry. That is too much. So let's go for five. Let's go with a shift with 50 for Dolph Alaf. Okay. So now I like to sculpt a little bit more, but I like to have still more detail. So let's save and let's go to have another turbo smooth. And then again, an edit poly. We are not taking care about uh, what we are not able to see because, uh, you know, we can see it. So uh, that's not important. Uh, let's go for 50. And let's go for 50 also there in the strength. Okay, you see we are adding some detail. But we add also uh, more details later with the displacement map there. It's just to uh, give some uh, really chaotic scaling there and detail but you know we need more detail over our mesh because now it is really really simple but oh, let's get to have a little bigger okay and you see i'm just cutting more and more detail for our uh, mesh so there I'm just creating a, some bigger area there with more detail and the same there because I'm trying to create something like uh, a wall side like a rocky effects so it needs to have more detail
obviously you can give it uh, the shape you like uh, you are not uh, linked to have the same detail I'm using so you can do whatever you like and everything will be perfect because it is just your choose it is your decision to uh, decide which kind of shape you are creating for uh, your cave and then just maybe a little bit there and a little bit also there now I like to uh, rise up a little bit this area so uh, maybe with a push and pull but with a bigger maybe uh, again 50 but the area needs to be bigger so let's try with maybe more let's try with 200 okay uh, so then uh, let's try to rise up this area okay and then I like to rise up a little bit also there and then I like to create some rise uh, area also there okay and um, let's try to use also with 20 and maybe 150 to uh, rise a little bit So you see I'm moving all this part. Let's go to see what happens if we have again another tubus smooth. Okay, you see that we have a lot more detail, but it is still uh, not so much, I think. Um, I like to, uh, let's go in a perspective and rotate a little bit to see how it is looking okay let's start working with another edit poly and then let's try to use let's remove the grid and then let's try now to use the noise now it is starting to be uh, slow obviously because uh, the mesh is really uh, really uh, detailed but you know uh, it is not so much detailed for us we need more detail but it is just to create a little bit of noise over uh, the surface and a little bit also there okay uh, let's go for a shaded and let's go to remove the edges faces so that's our environment we have to tweak some stuff I think but before I like to start playing with the uh, with the displacement so uh, let's save close the uh, the graphite let's go to have displace modifier and we can go to create some map 